this is an achievement of the country. This is the achievement of the Neera Chopra. He has done an excellent job for the country. And this is the first time we have uh, gone for the board in the athletics. So uh, it is unexpected for us. So all are enjoying, all are celebrating this function. We are proud of the Neera Chopra also. Mr. Mehta, one question before I let you go. You know, there is a lot of celebration, a lot of talk of, of what's really happened right now in Tokyo. But, uh, you know, once the contingent comes back, once the preparations are talking about Paris 2024, you think this is going to give that kind of gusto, the kind of uh, inspiration that, that perhaps uh, a lot of athletes require? This medal tally will bring in that kind of inspiration uh, that, that was missing for a very long time? That this is a, we have only three hours, three, three years for the Paris Olympics. You know, because already we have postponed this one year from Tokyo 2020 to Tokyo 2020 2021. So we have three years. We are going for the best preparation for the next Olympics. So we make a good preparation with the Sai government and the federations also. And we need a good result on the next Olympics. Mr. Mehta. Thank you very much, Mr. Mehta, for putting this into perspective. Let me also bring in Jeev Milka Singh, who's joining us on the phone line. Mr. Milka Singh, thank you very much for speaking to Republic TV. What a day it has been for India. I want your first thoughts when it comes to even golf today. We've seen Aditi's fantastic performance, nail-biting performance, fourth position, something that uh, you know is going to go down very well with generations to come. I think what Aditi has done today, she's created history in golf. It is a very proud moment for India, Indian golf. She's going to give a lot of boost to Indian golf players, inspiration to the young girls who want to take up golf, and also for the boys. I think that's the best finish any golfers had in the Olympics since Olympics have started. And... I am very proud of her performance. I understand she missed out. She'll be disappointed uh, that she couldn't win a medal, but I still am proud of her, the performance she gave. And she's made the country proud, and I'm sure she's got the age on her side, and she's going to do really well in the next Olympics. And talking about... Uh, Jeevil Kassing, let... Chopra. Sorry, go ahead. I was coming to that. I was just coming to that, Jeev Milka Singh, because I would say that this this is a, a very emotional moment for the entire country. And in fact, uh, Mr. Milka Singh's wish was also that India wins a medal when it comes to athletics. Today, we are talking about, for the first time, a track and field event uh, medal that has come in. Emotional, a lot of things put together. This is a great moment for the entire country. And, and what about you? Personally, how do you take a look at this entire medal that is coming? I think, personally, my dad's dream was that a gold medal should be won in track and field, and it's happened. And I'm sure from above there, he's watching and he's got tears of joy. He always, whenever he spoke about or in, was interviewed, he said, I would like to see it before I leave this world. And Neeraj Chopra has made his dream come true. Not only is the nation proud of him, the Milka family is proud of him for making my father's dream come true. And he's created history. And I think in the future... A lot of kids will be inspired and they will start believing in themselves that they can go out there and make the country proud and win medals in any sport they pick up or anything they have decided to do in their lives. One last question, Mr. Jeev Milka Singh, before I let you go. This is a very emotional moment also. And would you say that this is the best tribute that one could actually give to Milka Singh? For sure. I think this is one of the best tributes my father 
could have got because he always wanted a gold medal for India in the Olympics, and especially track and field, and he's done it. I think we salute him for his determination and hard work, and that's got him where he is today.